Hello friends and welcome back to Study Tonight. In this video, uh, we'll talk about how we can design a basic database in which there are multiple tables for any uh, web application or desktop application. So for this video, uh, we'll be designing tables and database for a forum application. We'll keep it simple. So the reason behind creating this video is we receive a lot of comments on the normalization videos where users are asking or our viewers are asking that, uh, you know, basic problems around designing tables and uh, which columns to uh, have which data type and how we can set up foreign key relationships. So in this video, I'll cover a basic example. Uh, we'll design uh, database tables for that basic uh, web application. And uh, while designing uh, the tables, we'll uh, cover all these, uh, you know, things to keep in mind. So this is exactly, you know, how I create uh, database tables for my application or for any website or any application that I'm working on. This is the, the standards or the, you know, the basic rules that I follow while designing my database tables. So in this example, we'll be creating uh, database tables for a forum application, as I said, in which we'll have a user uh, a table a question table to store questions asked by users an answer table to store answers for the questions and a category table to you know categorize the questions that are being asked so in most of the forum uh, applications we can see that you know uh, whenever we ask a question there are category in which you can categorize your uh, question for example you're asking a question for java or c or c plus plus so we'll have a category table as well so step zero should be finalizing the structure of the tables, which means what data points you will store in each table. This is a prerequisite for getting started with database table design. So in the user table, we'll have username, email address, password, and full name as the columns. In question a table, we'll have a question name or title, a question description, the category in which the question has been asked, who asked the question, which will hold the user information, and then, you know, when the question was asked. Uh, then coming to the answers table, in the answer table, we'll have the answer text, obviously. Uh, the question information uh, in which, you know, we'll have the information of the question for which the answer has been uh, provided. Then the user information uh, containing, you know, information about the user who answered the question. And then when was the answer submitted? And then in the category table, we'll just have, uh, you know, the name of the category. So we'll have multiple categories stored in it. So this is the basic uh, data model that we have for the forum application. Now, a few things to understand here is, you know, uh, whenever we design a database, whenever we design tables, the first step should be identifying the relationships. Yes. So in if you are uh, in an exam, you get ER diagrams in which the relationships are already uh, specified. But when you develop your own application, the first thing to think about or to brainstorm is the relationship between the database tables. So if for this uh, setup, uh, the user table is an independent table. It doesn't depend on anyone. The question table, on the other hand, depends on the user table and the category table because it will have information of the user and the category information stored in it. Then comes the answer table. The answer table will have dependency on the question table and the user table. And at last the category table, which is again an independent table, just like the user table. So we should start by, you know, designing the independent tables first and then move on to uh, the dependent tables because it will have, uh, it is dependent on, uh, you know, some other tables. In one situation, you will not have to worry about the relationship amongst entities and tables. That is when you do not have the proper entities defined. For example, if you think, uh, why should I have answer and question tables separate? I can store answers alongside the questions as well. Well, you cannot, because if you do so, you'll face a lot of problems. For example, there'll be too many unanswered questions, uh, which will put unnecessary load on uh, answer only queries. Then how will you handle multiple answers for a single question? Also, the number of columns will increase if you'll have to adjust answers as well into the question tables. And then also the normalization will be affected. So you must focus on having proper tables based on different functional units of the application that you are designing. In case of this forum application, user, question, answer, and category of the question are the four main uh, functional units. And hence we have different tables for them to have a modular uh, DB design. So once you know we have identified the relationships, we'll move on to designing the tables. So as you can see, you know, this is how I design the table. The user table will have user ID, 
as uh, an auto increment uh, column which will also be the primary key so this is just to you know act as a primary key it doesn't have any uh, significant information attached to it then comes username email address password with varchar varchar2 depending upon which db engine you are using and the size that you know again that depends upon what application you are depend uh, developing and also also on the uh, your application requirements also whenever you are developing an application which has password in it so always uh, hash your password use some hashing technique hashing is different from encryption so please you know do some research around it but do hash your password before saving it to database then comes category in category again we'll have category id auto increment will act as primary key and then category name which will store the category name then in the question table again question id acts as uh, primary key it's auto increment then user id fk it's the foreign key constraint is uh, set here for uh, the column with comes from user table user id and similarly we have set a foreign key constraint for category id as well category id fk is a foreign key then comes question question description which is text data type and then created which is used to store uh, timestamp or you know the date so generally i prefer storing unix timestamp because it is platform independent or you can also use the date data type to store uh, the you know time of creation for any question answer like that again in the answer table we'll have answer id which is again primary key and auto increment will increment itself then question id fk which is a foreign key from question uh, table user id fk which is again a foreign key from user table then the answer text which is of text data type and then created again a timestamp or you can have date data type so this is how we design tables for any application now let's discuss a few things about this style of designing tables so uh, the three points here are uh, why we need auto increment id columns in each table then is this design completely normalized and uh, the foreign key setup so uh, covering the first point uh, you know you must be thinking why can't i have some other meaningful column as the primary key so uh, you know you do not have to worry about generating this the first point that is in favor of having an auto inc increment id uh, primary key and it will always be unique because it is automatically generated by the database then it makes indexing fast as compared to complex string based uh, uh, primary keys also uh, having a string based primary key will slow down your join queries but again you know it's your choice if you think that uh, you know some column which must be uh, primary key is something you know which is meaningful in your application design then you can go ahead and have uh, that particular column as the primary key then comes the second point is this completely normalized then you know it is to an extent not completely as we can break down the relationships further into uh, separate tables but that will make the you know uh, database design more complex then the foreign key setup so you know this is very important for maintaining data integrity because uh, what if someone you know interrupts your uh, request uh, while it is being uh, saved into the database and changes the user id to something that doesn't exist uh, if you do not have foreign key uh, constraint set up then that data will be saved into the questions table or the answers table even if user id doesn't exist so this is a fail safe mechanism you can also have this on the server side where you can you know validate the user ids for uh, whether it's present or not but you should also have a foreign key constraint set up on the database side as well so with this you know we have covered almost all the points which you should focus on while designing a database and it's stable for any application that you are working on uh, i'll try to make more videos covering more complex db designs along with best practices until then you know subscribe to the straight night channel share this video with your friends hit the thumbs up and if you have any doubts you know feel free to comment down below and i'll try to answer all those comments also i have posted a machine learning basic introduction video do check it out as well thank you